Hi, writers. It's Miss Sarah here again. Do you like to read chapter books? Maybe you haven't started yet, but maybe you've had brothers or sisters who read about the same characters and they get into all these adventures. Um, even though they're the same people, the adventure each time is different. Well, today you are going to do some of your very own series writing. So what is a realistic fiction series? Well, one example is Henry and Mudge, the series that we started on Monday. We know that these adventures focus on the two main characters, Henry the boy and Mudge his dog. Now it's realistic because um, Henry gets into trouble that often takes place at his home or around his home, right? The setting is real and believable. And his dog in the story, even though he's in this adventure with him, we're not hearing Mudge speak other than saying woof. Those are things that dogs can really do. That's how we know that this series, Henry and Mudge, is realistic. Now, another example of a series book that we've read is Frog and Toad. Um, one example of a series book is Frog and Toad, Our Friends. While this is a series, because we can follow these two characters in different adventures. Um, it's not realistic, not Frog and Toad. It's not realistic because Frog and Toad can talk like people and they wear clothes like people. We know that's not how animals behave in real life. So friends, today, here's the exciting part. You are going to write your very own series about the character that you made up. You might have a Rex adventure series, or maybe you'll have a Crystal J, uh, Crystal made up series, um, or about Lily or whatever your character's names are. You are the author, my friends. So this is Miss Sarah's example. We know that Miss Sarah has made up the character Jada. She's eight years old. She's athletic. Um, she plays soccer. She's kind. She's a good friend. That's the character that Miss Sarah made up. Um, and we've already listened to a story about her not being able to find her cleats for her very important soccer game. That's already one adventure that she's gotten up to. Today, I'm going to write a different one. Here's some more information I know about my character, Jada. She lives at her at home with her mom and her sister, Maya. She plays on a soccer team, and she has a special tree house in her backyard where she likes to play board games with her friends. These are all details that exist in real life. I've seen friends with tree houses. Miss Sarah didn't have one when she was a kid, but I had friends who did. Um, she plays soccer. Again, that's something that an eight-year-old girl could do and she's living at home with her mom and sister. Those are all true, real details. So the next step is to take these details and put it onto paper. Miss Sarah has already started, um, Miss Sarah has already started an adventure series story. And this time, I want that adventure to take place in Jada's treehouse. So, this story is called, or my series is called Adventures with Jada, because that's my character that I can write about over and over again. And this story is called Treehouse Trouble. I've already started writing the first few pages of this new adventure that my character can get into. Um, I'm right about where Jada's running into some trouble, so let's read to find out what the trouble is. Um, and then I hope you can help me finish the ending or the solution to Miss Sarah's story. All right, so you, my friends, are going to help me write all about it. So we can see here, here's Miss Sarah's story so far. Um, I have my title page. You can make a book that just looks just like this too. Adventures with Jada, Treehouse Trouble. Here's my picture that matches what the story is all about. And then I wrote my name by Miss Sarah. This is the author and the author of your, of your realistic fiction story, of course, is you. 
I've already sketched out my entire book. I've added all my pictures and I finished the first few pages. So here's Jada in her treehouse and the words here says crack in all capital letters. That's what the light, um, the lightning and the thunder is doing in the sky. So I know that my story is taking place in the middle of a thunderstorm. Scary. Jada hid her head in her hands. The rain pounded. Crack! She shivered and felt scared. I stopped, so I add a period. Then the storm passed. Jada's mom yelled, come in and get dry. I made hot chocolate. So here I added some dialogue. I made my character speak. And the mom is yelling to Jada. She still looks pretty unhappy. Um, maybe she doesn't quite believe that the thunderstorm is over. Okay, so now I've sketched out. I have Jada. She's going um, climbing down her treehouse. And I think she's going to go inside to get some hot chocolate. But I haven't written that part yet. That's where you come in. Okay, so I'm going to touch and tell first. Jada climbed down the ladder. She then... She sprinted inside before she got wet. Because she doesn't know, is it going to keep raining? Is the thunderstorm going to come back? She doesn't know. Okay. Jada, start with a capital letter because it's a name and the beginning of my sentence. Jada col climbed down. It's a snap word down the ladder. Or add er, ladder. Okay, my voice stops, so I add a period. Now I start with a finger space and a capital letter because it's the beginning of a new sentence. Jada climbed down the ladder. Then, capital T, then she, Sprinted, this is a tricky word. Spr, S P R, spr, in, that's a word I know. Sprint, and then I hear that suffix. Sprint, sprinted. Oh, yeah, ED. Then she sprinted, that means she ran really fast. Inside, before. She got wet. Okay, so now let me read to make sure it makes sense. Jada climbed down the ladder. Then she sprinted inside before she got wet. And I end with a period. And now I can write my last page. So I've already sketched out my pictures again. Um, here's Jada and here's her mom. And they're sipping on that hot cho cocoa that... Um, her mom yelled at her from the treehouse about, or the mom yelled from the house, but Jada was in the treehouse. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna end with how Jada's feeling. Um, finally, Jada was happy. Finally, Jada was happy to be dry. And then I stopped, so I'm gonna add a period. Let's reread to make sure it makes sense. Finally, Jada was happy to be dry. All right, writers. I think that's where we're going to leave off for today. And now it's your turn to get started writing your very own series. I can't wait to hear what new adventures your characters from last week will get into today. Happy writing and remember, good writers can write, turn their character books into series and write lots of different adventures with the same setting, uh, people, and sometimes, but the, oh, that's it. Same setting, 
characters, but the adventures that your characters get up to are a little bit different every time. Happy writing. <laughs>